I would say it's basically complicated, except for that one. Hello. Okay, sorry. Hello. I had my earpods connected and they like weren't working. So uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, hey, there we go. Cool. Okay. Oh, wait, they can see you too. What the heck? Jolly says gr uh, grills, grills are so hard to talk to. Grills just talk to each. <laughs> exactly. I can give you guys tips. Dating tips with Lily. So what are your dating tips? Well, chat, ask me some questions and I shall answer. How do I walk up to a grill? Well, first, I don't know if walking just up to them is the best approach. So first, before you just like start talking to them, I'd say not like stalk them, but find What the heck? No, <laughs> Where are you going with this? Thing. Like find something about them that isn't like, oh, you're really pretty. Like that's Ooh. a compliment. Yeah. But that's something that yeah, no, please don't that you say can't that. really control. Like compliment like their shoes or something because chances are they picked out those shoes for themselves and they'll actually be flattered because you're complimenting their style, not just something that's like their face. How do I say hello to a female without freaking out? Well, hmm, this is a good one. I wouldn't really say like, People are always like, just build up the courage. I'm like, it don't work like that, chief. Sometimes you can't build up the courage. So sometimes you do have to be internally freaking out. But once you're over so that barrier, it kind of like said, it don't be like loosens that. up or, a bit. What, what she says something, chief. Anyway, she gets. Are you on mute? News. Huh? What? What were you saying? <laughs> I was talking about how you said it don't be like that, chief. Or it don't work like that, Chief, <laughs> Wait, whatever you said. Wait, I didn't said. even realize I said that. Yeah, you said that, and then I'm like, chat, she's a memer. And then they're like, clip her saying that, clip it. It was so great. I don't even know. It don't work like that, Chief. Yep, that's great. Sometimes you have to freak out. Of, like, I'm not saying, like, say this to a ton of girls, but, like, the first one is always the hardest one. After that, it becomes easier or even more natural. It becomes natural, really. Honestly, kind of facts. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because I don't. I haven't really talked about this on stream. But um, I'm just gonna say can confirm. Like it's always gonna be weird at first, but eventually it's gonna become natural. Like even whenever you start dating someone, at first oh, like that's there's the, that's always the thing like that scares me the a most. little bit of tension. But then yeah. after that, just being with them is very natural and like feels right. And it works for any relationship, even just like with friends. That's how it's always like, you know. Um, someone asks with a one cent donation. I'm not even kidding. They donated one penny and mm. said, a girl likes me. What do I do about this? Well, do you like the girl back? But that's a good place to start. Um, also, figure out if someone likes you, don't immediately start dating them because you're lonely. Facts. Uh, straight facts. Date someone that you like. True. Because otherwise you're just going to end up being unhappy. It's going to make you feel worse. You're going to feel lonelier after the relationship ends. And then you'll just feel like you have a void in your heart. So, like someone. Don't, don't date someone just because they like you. How do you tell a girl that you hate her guts and you don't want any interaction with her? Um, well, uh, this is my personal opinion. So if you, I, I hate someone, trust me. I know what it's like to hate someone. I only hate one person, but I hate them a lot. And instead of like trying to make their life worse, I try to make my life better by, I wouldn't say avoiding them, but for whatever happened or whatever reason you hate them, just think about how 
you're the better person in the situation. And, I mean, whatever they did, like, they can't take back, obviously. And sometimes you can't forgive someone for something that they did. So the best thing to do is just, I wouldn't say move on, but try to grow stronger from the experience. Hmm. Thanks, Techium. 30 months. 30 months resub. Jeez. Um, anyway, yeah, you guys can ask whatever questions. How do I tell a girl I have a crush on her? Actually, they said grill, not a girl. I think it depends well, on the circumstance. Uh, it depends on the situation. Who it is, grills, where it is. They really like whenever you clean them. You, you know, you, you get those little scrubby what? things on the grill. You're going to have to say that grills. again. Those little scrubby things for grills. <laughs> Anyways. Um, serious question though. Uh, what do I do about a grill having a crush on me and I don't like her back? What do I do? Okay. And you don't like them back. That is kind of awkward, yeah. Just make sure it's not like... I'd say super weird whenever you ask them out, because sometimes guys make it like really awkward and weird. They'll be like, hey, I really like you. And then we're just like, okay, and like give them something that they can respond to. Or like, even if it is awkward, because sometimes you can't help it. Just keep the conversation, like, flowing. What is her opinion on Evan? Oh, geez. What is my opinion on you? Yeah. I mean... You're, I she's gonna know. say, you're chill. <laughs> that's, that, that's something you would say, honestly. I'm I mean, going to steal bro, like, your grill like, in you know. your backyard so I can cook meat. I have, like, four grills. Y'all come over. There you go. Someone said, imagine having a boyfriend Omega Lol. Do you know what Omega Lol is? It's Twitch I lingo, like I so do. I assume probably not, but. Or like Lol W, or I don't know. Or, I mean, you know Kappa, which well, is where Cap that. came from, but. No <clears throat> Cap. Yeah. I mean, like, no Cap, like, straight up, bro. Cap's off. No Cap, bro. I mean, like, I, bro, what's up, bro? What's good? What's chilling? Are, are we vibing? Don't kill the vibe, bro. Don't kill the vibe. Jonah said, yeah, bro, bro. Bro, so, yeah, bro. Uh, Stop, bro. Oh, oh, I'm going to have to hang up if you keep on doing that. One, another thing that I've always lived by is, like, if you like someone, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I think I like this other person, too. I'd say I mean, give up on the first person because if you started liking a second person, did you truly like the first person that much in the first place? Facts. Straight facts. So. I still have not, Evan has personal experience. Yeah, I have personal experience with exactly what you just said, where I've never liked more than one person at one time, honestly. Usually, keyword usually i don't switch from one person to another very quickly there'd be at, l at minimum of like six months in between like me stopping to like someone and then liking someone new recently <laughs> not going to talk about it too much it's been a little bit a little bit quicker but it's not been multiple people at one time um what if my crush doesn't like me and she kind of bullies me what do i do um i'm gonna Drop say the her. most she's a toxic person you don't need her in your life well, that's answered. Uh, what to do if you want to be single and someone comes to you in a nice way? Like, so how do you reject them? Is that what you're asking? See, the thing is with asking people out, I don't think anyone can get completely devastated about being rejected. Facts. Because otherwise, they're taking it to a whole nother level. Mm -hmm. And that's like... If... In my opinion, if you're devastated after you, like, get rejected, then you were probably way too obsessed to a point that's not realistic. Um, so even if you guys were dating, it wouldn't have worked out. Yeah. Like, for, for me, for me, realistically, let's just say a completely theoretical situation right now. 
let's just say there's someone that I like and that I am like going to ask them out or I have asked them out or whatever. And if they said no, then I'm fine with it personally. There, I mean, it's there's nothing I can do about it, you know? It's like super nerve wracking to do it, but still like either way, yeah, if you, if you feel like you're gonna be devastated, like super, super bad, if someone rejects you, like it's because they rejected you, um, then it's probably not that great of a, or not that healthy of a thing. And I'd try your best or to try to Or if you on. do feel like you'll be devastated, take a step back and evaluate the situation. Think about it and then maybe make the move. Um, let's see. Someone that I like, Evan instantly smiles. Shut up. Shut up, Demiscus. Go away. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, how did we get to this point about talking about grills? Uh, I don't know. I mean, she called and then chat was like, Q&A time. Wow. Someone so. was like, I need advice. And I was like, I've got you. Um, how many times does she... I'm not going to finish reading that question. Um, what was it? Please don't answer this. How many times does she go do toilet time, a.k.a. washroom? <laughs> Please don't answer that. I'm not asking that. What? Mm. How much for toe picks? Honestly... <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Unless three hundred dollars. That's what they're offering. Okay. What? Okay, we've been live for four hours. We're ending now. Thanks for watching. This has been an interesting stream. Always kiss the homies good night. But make sure you have socks on. That was really good timing, chat. That was really good timing. Anyway, um, adios, chat. We're going to end. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hang up the Skype call. So, actually. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Adios. Bye, chat. See you next time. Which I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. We'll see. What?